Hey, thanks for checking this out. I'm Cor Crossan. This is Crossan C's Business Ideas, and today I'm going to be covering beekeeping. Now, this idea may not seem exciting, but think about it. It's good for the environment. It's good for farmers. Nurseries love you, and uh, you get the bees to do all the hard, heavy lifting. So, that being said, remember to like, share, subscribe in the description box below. There's going to be a link to my number one way to make money online. Click on it, get on my email list, and watch the video afterwards. It's a video that really helped me and got me pointed in the right direction. I hope it does the same to you, uh, for you. Anyway, uh, that being said, let's get to that business idea. All right, here's our business idea, becoming a beekeeper. So a beekeeper makes about $44,000 a year. I'm just doing beekeeping. And you know what? Um, it doesn't seem like that bad of a job. But the interesting thing is, if you're a beekeeper, why not start your own business and make some serious money? Uh, that being said, let's check out the numbers. So, estimated startup cost. Uh, ooh, messed that one up. Uh, a nook. So, a nook is a small colony of bees. And if you want to buy a nook, and um, it's $150 for a, a colony of bees. And then, if you're going to work with bees, you probably want to get an extractor. Because if you're doing this for money, you want to extract the honey and sell it because it's just another way to make this profitable for you. So electric one goes from 200 to 300. A manual one, l slower manual, uh, is $150 for a manual extractor. Now beehive kits. Now this is three to two to three boxes with frames and the foundation all together is about $200. Now you could actually build these on your own. You don't have to buy this, but I just want to give you a rough estimate if you're just starting out from scratch in this just throwing money at it and not doing any of the sweat part. Now, beekeeper uh, tools and suit, about $100 on Amazon. I looked it up and, yeah, you can get a whole bunch of toolkits and a, a bee suit for about 100 bucks all together. I don't know the quality. Um, I'm not a connoisseur of beekeeper tools and suits, but that's what I priced it at. There's expensive ones, less expensive ones, but that one seemed pretty reasonable. Um, truck for transportation of hives. Now, this is really important because at night, uh, because bees are diurnal, you would like to, if you're renting out your hive, you would like to wait till nighttime, load it up into your truck, and then drive it to the farm that's renting your beehive out and deposit them. The reason you want to do it at night is because bees are diurnal and they go back to the hive to sleep. That being said, you're going to need to transport them. Price on a truck, uh, it ranges on CarMax anywhere from 19000 to 32000 And we all know that we can get a truck cheaper than that. Don't know the quality, but we could always find deals. If you search around for it, you'd be like, there's the one I need. So this is just, again, if you're just going through it real quick, you didn't want to do the research, you didn't want to wheel and deal, go to CarMax, buy it. It would be 19000 to 32000 depending on what you want. The high end, uh, starting off on one of your business, getting all the things you need to do the job you need to do, it's about 32750 high end with one hive. So if you're going to buy a nook and do the boxes and stuff, it's about it's going to be more than that. But if you're going to build the boxes and you only buy the nook, it's going to be a lot cheaper. And if you find a truck or you even own a truck, it's going to be fine. But this price is not including land. You're going to have to keep these bees somewhere. So when you start up this, you're going to have to check in your area, your county, if you can actually keep bees in your county or if there are special zonings for this. If you can't, then you're going to have to find a location that you can. And that could be as simple as making a deal with a farmer that you keep your bees on his area of his farm and let and let them pollinate his stuff and then you rent out only a few of those boxes but you rent it out to him for free or her whatever it is so just to give you guys some ideas i think this is pretty cool because i mean this is high end like i look at that i'm like i wouldn't do that i would find a better way less expensive way man i forget his real name but he was giving a speech and he was talking about how uh it's the wolf of wall street i f was listening to him speak and he said when you start a business you want to do as streamlined as you can. And so 32000 high end, that's if you're going big, if you already know what you're doing. But it was just me. I'd find that truck super cheap and then work from there. I'd probably buy the nook and the boxes because I don't like building stuff. But let's move on. So how do you make money on this? So what you do is you go around and rent in your hives. And then you sell honey and you sell the bee beeswax. And you could sell the royal jelly and the pollen. If you have enough hives and you collect it, you could sell it. But one hive isn't going to produce very much. Reason being is that 
they're like royal jelly is what queens eat and so a hive wouldn't have a lot of royal jelly it has a lot of honey for everyone else so how do you make money renting your hives now in, depending on the season the demand of bees it's anywhere from ten dollars to 200 per hive and it's re been reported i've seen it i read an article on it how an almond farmer paid six hundred dollars per hive to pollinate his uh, almonds his uh, trees so 600 just because the demand for it was so high now there's been a thing where bees are going extinct because of a parasite they're finding it out i don't know what they're doing to counteract it but it could be a good time to start taking care of your bees and start selling their services the cool thing i like about bees is that they take care of themselves all right so Honey can go for anywhere from three to over ten dollars a pound. USA beehives can produce anywhere from ten to a hundred pounds of honey per hive. Now, the two hundred pounds per honey per hive per hive is the best scenario cases. If it's like a rough year, drought, whatever it is, cold that the cold or whatever's going on, it it ranges. But they say. Uh, what I read is that anywhere to 30 to 60 pounds of harvestable honey a year. Now, it doesn't sound like much, but if you can get a the $10 pound for even the 30, that's $300. That pays for the beehive. And if you're renting it out per season, depending on where you're at, like if you're here in Hawaii, it's year round. You need to rent your bees out year round. And the way it works is that when you rent it out, you actually rent it out to, for a pollination agreement. You, the crops are flowering. They rent the bees. The bees pollinate. You take them back up. You put them on another place. They pollinate. You take them up. You put them on. So one beehive you can rent out multiple times a year. That being said, bees, uh, bees wax. Uh, sounds like something you could sell, but remember, uh, take a look at, I mean, not remember, but just take a look at this, uh, 10 pounds, $10 a pound, but it's a hundred, you get one pound per hundred pounds of honey harvested. So, so every time you harvest honey, honey, you get a hundred pounds, you'll about, you get anywhere from one to two pounds of beeswax that you could sell for $10 a pound. Um, and other products include like like i said pollen and royal jelly health food stuff now um i think this is a really cool idea because if you're resourceful it could be very uh profitable and you can be easily uh easily started up it's good for the environment there's a demand for it you're helping people eat you're helping uh not only are you helping people eat but also you're not only pollinating crops you're poll pollinating the uh the natural um the natural what you call the natural um, plants that grow, uh, the endemic vegetation, and you're not only doing the farmers a good job. And so I think this is a really good way to, and feasible, I think this is a really uh, feasible, really uh, realistic way to start off own business with relatively little money. If you want to go on the high end, again, it's going to be $32,750 just for one hive. But if you want to be resourceful and you want to just uh do it with the bare minimum i'm sure you could do it then under 400 dollars and then start renting out a beehive and then work your way from there and then when you get busy enough get your own brand and all that good stuff thanks thank you for watching remember to like share subscribe in the description box below there's gonna be a link to my number one way to make money online click on it and you watch that video get on my email list and watch that video because it's a video that i watched and got me pointed in the right direction um just watch it it's good it's not some weird thing it's it's a it's a long video it's salesy but uh i strongly uh suggest the resources and the courses that they offer because it really helped me not even not only in business but also grow as a person and so that being said thanks for watching